Good day, folks. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I know, lately I've been spoiling myself and you guys with all the newest semi-automatic pistols released this year, like the Evanix Viper and the Huben GK1. And my goodness, the GK1, what a jewel. But, and if there's a but, these awesome PCP pistols are limited to a maximum of 25 caliber. While today, my friends, we'll be diving into another brand new PCP pistol released just about a month or two ago. And this one is a 45 caliber, or to be precise, a 457 pistol that also comes in 50 cal. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the brand new AEA Bintec M50 pistol. Many of you may know its father, the rifle version, with the buttstock, a longer barrel, and a bigger air tank. This gun here was sent to me by Airgun Tactical, an online retail store here in the US that carries pretty much every gun that I've reviewed lately at great prices. So do go check them out, give them some love, and thank you so much Airgun Tactical for supporting the channel. This one here has the body of a 50 caliber, but the barrel is, as I said, 457. In fact, this gun is highly adjustable. As you can see here, there's an attachment for you to reattach the buttstock if you really wanted to. And the pistol version comes with a standard five inch barrel, but upon ordering it, you can customize it to a seven inch barrel. The barrels are rifled and they come in 495 or 457 with this mean looking muzzle brake. The tank holds 200 cc of pressurized air at a maximum of 4,500 PSI or 300 bar. And finally, it does not have a regulator. It is unregulated, which means that you have a smaller chance of it leaking air when you store your gun full for a long period of time. Just look at this thing. It sure has some weight to it. It is fully made out of metal with a rubber grip. And yes, it has some weight to it. All right, my friends, it is time to check out some damage that we made out here in the beautiful Florida Everglades with our M50. So I pretty much shot two shots at every target just to kind of get an idea of the power and penetration uh, this gun has. So these are four uh, half inch plywood boards. As you see, we went through the first one, went through the second one, Here's a pellet here, perfectly intact. And then we got, this one must be still, yeah, there it is, it's stuck. Second one is stuck in the third board. So a little scathing dent on the fourth board, but let's say it went through almost three full half inch plywood boards. On my new stainless steel, metal trays here. I really like these things. They're very, very uh, resistant. They're very hard. Um, I think they're quite much, quite harder than the normal uh, oven pans. So they went through the first. Unfortunately, this thing, a uh, little platform I created kept flying off, but uh, we definitely went through the first one, but the second was able to stop both shots. So one uh, stainless steel tray and almost into the second one as well. And our ballistic gel, 
our Kentucky Ballistics T-Rex 3D gel that was kindly uh, provided to us by Clear Ballistics. Thank you so much, Clear Ballistics. So, we have a bit of a mix of pellets here. I don't know if you saw my last video. Uh, these were all shot with the GK1 by Huben, but I shot three pellets at the dinosaur, and as you see, they went in through the head and quite deep uh, into the ballistic gel. This is a 20% ballistic gel, a very, very hard ballistic gel. So we have one pellet, two pellets, and three pellets. So the third one came in through the chest, while the other two went through the head. That is about probably 12, 13 inches into this 20% ballistic gel. And on to the coconut. Again, two shots at the coconut. <laughs> and look at that. Wow. Dominican Republic ultra hard coconut. You load the pellets like most other PCP rifles or pistols. And this one is a six shooter magazine. And in today's video, we shot these AGT 45 caliber, 166 grain flat point that were kindly provided as well by Airgun Tactical. So I was recommended to stay away from any type of power tuning uh, especially for an incapable person like me. But let's indeed see what kind of numbers we get straight out of the box. All right, some decent power there. Let's have a look at these three recycled plastic water jugs. Uh, what kind of penetration we got? Well, looks like we got full penetration. So we went through three two and a half gallon plastic water jugs with six shots. And let's see how much air we still have left. So about a quarter. A little over a quarter of a tank after six shots. As you see, this gun doesn't have any sights and it comes with this long 11 meter dovetail rail. So what I did is I mounted a Picatinny adapter rail to it. So I could use this Motion Awake Mini Red Dot Sight that was kindly sent to me by company Mid-10 to show you guys. It's a bit on the higher end of most budget sites. It costs around $90 on Amazon. Uh, but the cool thing is that it activates with motion. And so far, it worked great. Of course, I always use a bore sighter to sight in the red dot. And I was just sent this cool box from my friends over at CV Life uh, that finally contains virtually every caliber, or it contains adapters to every caliber, even 68 and probably even 72 caliber. Amazing. Now, for those who are new to PCP or pre-charged pneumatic air guns, there are various ways to fill them up with air. I like to initially fill them up 
with my air compressors. Uh, there are some great ones out there at decent prices. I like this one in particular um, because it has two fans and as you know these things heat up very very fast especially in South Florida. Then as you saw when I'm in the field I'll use a small carbon fiber bottle for those few extra refills. I also have this big scuba tank as a backup. It costs about five to seven dollars to fill up and in turn it gives you a ton of fills. But let's go ahead and top up our M50. Uh, the gun comes with an adapter which you simply attach to your compressor's hose as so. You turn on the fan first you then insert the pin into the gun. Make sure that the bleeding valve is closed and you start the compressor. All right, folks, let me tell you what's coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dragon Claw 2. Yes, indeed, the new Dragon Claw is out. It is said to be twice as powerful as the, as the normal Dragon Claw, which for me is mind boggling. But indeed, the Dragon Claw 2 is out and we'll be looking at that. But, but before, so next week, we'll be having a look at Kododo's new uh, ammo for the Mercury Rise Torpedo Revolver or TR-50. These right here, my friends, are uh, seven 62 millimeter bullets uh, uh, sabled in a plastic casing, again, for the extra long magazine for of the TR-50 or Torpedo Revolver. And then, uh, again, from uh, Airgun Tactical, I got this really cool, interesting gun that I, I don't know much about. One thing I can tell you, it shoots these mean ass looking uh, uh, slugs, projectiles, super pointy. I mean, they're like, they're like a, a they hurt. Um, this is the uh, AGT Defender 3. So a lot to come on the channel, guys. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you click that bell button and do make sure you click that like button so that this video can be spread to more people uh, by the YouTube algorithm. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to leave you with this video next. If you want to stay in the PCP uh, videos that I've made so far or do check out this video here if you want to see the less lethal uh, kind of CO2 air gun videos that I've made so far and I'll see you at the next one. <laughs>